Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another tutorial in Malux FX. Today we are diving into something super exciting, something very experimental. How to use EB Synth to make your roto and paint jobs faster and more efficient. Let's dive in. Here is what we will cover today. Step 1. Generating a mat with mask machine learning tool inside Silhouette. Step 2. Synthesizing inside EB Synth. Step 3. And this can be a bonus tip. Using EB Synth for color correction and paint fixes. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I just want to show you how my folder structure looks like. It's not that complicated. Uh, you can see there are three folders here. Like the first one is keys. Inside this, you can't see anything because I'm going to render something inside this later. And up next, we have SFX. Uh, this is a folder where I'm going to save my silhouette file. And next, we have a folder called video where you can see this is the plate which I'm going to use in this demo. And you can see it starts from frame number one and it ends at frame number 100. And the file format is .png because as far as I understand, EBSYN doesn't support EXRs and only supports PNG and JPEGs. Obviously, PNG is way better than JPEG, so that's why I chose PNG. Yep, so this is all about the folder structure. Now let's hop into Silhouette and see what the workflow is. Okay, so we are inside Silhouette now and I'm gonna drag my footage into the node tree. Let's type in matte creation as the name and also make sure everything is perfect. Click on OK. Yes, so this is the footage which we are going to use today and uh, let's do a playback. As you can see, this is a very, very basic shot. Let's suppose the task is to extract mats for the flower, including all the petals. Of course, it's not that difficult because less camera motion and also the motion of the flower is not that crazy. We can definitely spend doing Roto manually. Or in this tutorial, I want to give you an idea like how to use machine learning tools inside Silhouette. You might have already heard that in Silhouette 2024, we have some awesome machine learning tools. I already made a tutorial on Matters HTML. Uh, if you guys missed that, please go ahead and check that in my channel it's just the last tutorial so in this case i'm gonna give you an intro about what easy mask is and how we can use that for easy mat creation so let's take easy mask connected that into the node tree as you can see the properties are not that complicated and also we have just three tools here one is foreground background and the last one is eraser so how we can generate mats using easy mask Make sure you have selected the foreground tool and just draw strokes around the subject which you are going to generate mats. In my case, it's this flower. So just drawing it very, very roughly. Let's draw some background strokes. Make sure you have selected the background tool or you can simply use right click in your mouse. Again, drawing it very, very roughly. Wow, just completed that and mat is ready. Just kidding. It's just one frame and as you can see, we can still improve the edges a little more. How to do that? Just draw more strokes. In my case, I'm kind of happy, at least for this tutorial. I always make sure to draw a few strokes in the middle of the subject just to make sure the core mat is very solid. If I go into the next frame, we don't have any mat in the other frames, only on the frame where we drew the strokes. Easy Mask don't generate mats throughout the work range. For extending throughout the work range, we need Mattesses node. So I'm going to take Mattesses node here. connected that into the easy mask and also make sure the data pipes are connected. You can see the models are getting loaded. The processing will take time and it purely depends on the GPU of your machine. In my case, it's a bit old, so it is taking this much time. In the properties of matrices, let's select keyframes. This is pretty awesome, right? Now we have mat for the entire work range. It takes time to load. But as you can see, mat is there throughout the work range. Silhouette is really, really awesome because it's very, very fast in my machine. So if you have like a new GPU, this is just like crazy. Cool. So now I have a very decent mat. The problem is that if I zoom in and check here, you can see there are lots of issues. So I thought of doing some experiment using EBSynth. It's kind of a software, I would say, where we can do style transfers. So for that, I need to create some workflows. Cool. So let's take color node and uh, maybe I'm going to select green color. Let's take copy node, color into the target, source into my matrices node and uh, let's take pre-multiply. Also make sure in the properties, alpha is selected as alpha, not luminant. Now if you view pre you can see we have the same matte in green color. 
Now I'm going to take a composite node and uh, let's connect remultiplied result as foreground and uh, let's connect input as our background. Everything in the shot was green so I just changed that into blue color. Now you can see we have kind of a good mat here but obviously there are lots of edge issues which I'm going to try fix using AB synth. Now I'm going to connect my output node into composite. Let's go into the properties. We need to create specific folder structures for AB synth. Inside the keys folder I'm going to save before that let's go inside video folder copy the file name going back inside keys paste it over here for hashtags just to get the right frame padding also make sure the format is .png just click on save we don't need alpha in this case and uh, yeah everything looks pretty decent let's render frame 50 render current frame render now let's see what we can do inside ebsynth i'll be linking the path to download ebsynth in the description of the video so if you guys want to try it out you can you can simply follow that link these all are the files which i extracted from the zip file let's click on ebsynth.exe file cool so this is the software which i was talking about i'm gonna keep silhouette in my background we don't have lots of properties here lots of steps to follow for this workflow i'm gonna give you a brief of all the properties here so we have open save save as export to a everyone can understand what it is so we have project directory here we don't have to do anything specifically it will be done automatically later so the second step is to choose keyframes this is the keyframe which i was talking about so i have selected that now you can see the project directory is automatically set also you need to select the path for the footage click on select video click on this and open if you have specific mat you can turn this on choose the path in my case i don't have mat here so i'm gonna keep this as off and inside advanced we have mapping the flicker diversity and synthesis detail i'm gonna keep this as high use gpu use this option if you have a gpu also i'm gonna add few tutorials which i found explaining all these properties in detail below in the description next we have something important you can see 50 is typed over here as keyframe this is automatically taken because frame which we rendered was 50 frame i'm gonna type one here and maybe 100 here because that's my first frame and last frame you can add multiple keyframes uh, everything is done now you can see a folder called out 0050 will get automatically generated i don't have to worry anything just choose the path for the keyframe the rest everything is taken care by the software everything looks okay to me so i'm gonna click on synth if you have multiple keyframes you can click on run all but in this case clicking synth it will do the work in background and let's wait for the result cool so it's done and and we will head back to silhouette to see the result back in silhouette i'm gonna load the result drag that into the note tree this is so good if you can see the match result it was flickering a lot right but now i'm gonna extract matte from this let's take primate select blue color here fg i'm gonna take invert here uh maybe rgb so now we have both the results here let's take swap channels so that it will be easy to compare the result and uh, let's connect that into matrices it was flickering a lot right eb synth result <laughs> Obviously, it's not that 100% perfect, but it is definitely a lot better than the Matt Assist. Now, if you're happy, you can render this result or if you're not, you can go back to ebsynth and pick some properties and try out different versions and that might give you even better results. I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to give you a rough glimpse where I can do some paint tasks using the same technique. And uh, let's take paint node. Let's go frame 55 in this case. I'm gonna do some crazy crazy things maybe you know what I'm gonna remove this thing so let's suppose this is the paint result same workflow instead of connecting that into composite I'm gonna connect that into my paint node before that go back to keys folder and I'm gonna delete the keyframe and I'm gonna render frame 55 inside ABSynth select the new keyframe same footage as video everything looks okay to me instead of keyframe as 50 here it's frame 55 there is a new folder which is going to get created out 0055 i'm gonna run synth cool it's done and let's go back to silhouette there we go let's see how the result is This is fabulous, right? No tracking, no adjusting, nothing. This is very much similar to the smart vector workflow in Nuke. Also, I'm going to show you how the match result looks like. 
you can see all this wobbling here uh, but in this case it is not that obvious at least for this shot so yeah i guess you might have learned something from this tutorial this is obviously some kind of experiment obviously you guys are going to work in exr formats and that is not applicable in this case but for matte generation it's kind of okay right to generate mats in png and you can convert that into exr anytime yeah so try out and let me know if you have any questions or if you have anything to share so that i can learn from you and improve myself till next tutorial it's manu signing off thank you for watching